And now let's hear from Barbara Crowley, the NALBA Chair-Elect, and this year's Government Affairs Committee Chair. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Okay, I wanted to wake you up because I'm going to be talking about government affairs, and I know that some of you start to glaze over a little bit, but this is very important, so I wanted to get your attention. It has been my pleasure to serve as the chair of the Government Affairs Committee this year, and it has been a very active year for government affairs. We have been working very hard to track the political issues that affect independent distribution and communicate those issues to our membership. We have also been working with our industry partners to advocate on your behalf and influence policy outcomes. As you know, or should know, NELBA is the only advocate in Washington for our unique business model. We continue to maintain a strong presence in Washington, building relationships with policymakers and educating them on the value we provide to the 75 million American families that depend on our products and our services. There are several regulatory and legislative matters being discussed in Washington that we are focused on monitoring. On the legislative front, the fiscal cliff deal that was reached at the beginning of this year was certainly not the ideal solution to our country's financial situation. It did very little to provide us with the economic certainty we deserve. It did, however, provide us with a permanent estate tax solution that sets a reasonable exemption and top rate that is adjusted for inflation. Unfortunately, the fiscal cliff deal left us with an unreformed tax code and a sequestration of funds that would otherwise be fueling the economic recovery of our country. And the federal budget continues to be based on a series of continuing resolutions which led to the shutdown of the federal government earlier this fall. This shutdown caused many delays in the legislative calendar. With election season coming up next year, we are concerned that there will be a limited window available to Congress to pass a comprehensive tax reform package that respects the ability of our products to provide financial security for America's families. NALBA Government Affairs staff has been in constant contact with influential members of Congress and there is a growing consensus on Capitol Hill that inside buildup of permanent life insurance should not be considered a source of tax revenue. But we need, we definitely need to remain vigilant until we know for sure that life insurance and annuities are off the table. There has been a lot of progress regarding the National Association of Registered Agents and Brokers Act, more commonly known as NARAB II. The legislation is the closest it has ever been to becoming law. The House of Representatives passed NARAB II this past September for the third time in five years. The Senate reported its version of NARAB II out of committee where it is ready for floor action. NARAB II would establish a multi-state licensing process that would allow insurance producers to operate in multiple states without enduring the repetitive and burdensome licensing process of each state in which they do business. The legislation has broad bipartisan support and under the right circumstances, it could become law before the end of next year. If it happens, NALBA members should consider how this might contribute to our business model and prepare accordingly. 
On the regulatory front, the Securities and Exchange Commission is working very slowly toward a proposal to impose a uniform standard of care on brokers and advisors. Meanwhile, the Department of Labor has postponed its proposal to expand fiduciary responsibilities as they apply to employer-sponsored retirement plans. These delays are due in large part to the congressional pressure to reevaluate the necessity of these rules and the potential conflicts that they could cause. Should these rules ever come to pass, they would negatively impact our ability to sell variable products while limiting consumer access to critical financial services. This is one of the biggest regulatory threats facing our industry, and NELBA has taken a very proactive role on this issue. For the last four years, NELBA has been working diligently with lawmakers and industry partners, and we are forming new partnerships in the financial sec services sector to effectively push back against these proposed regulations. NELBA is the only association that advocates specifically on behalf of independent distribution. Our government affairs staff works hard to represent our industry and communicate our needs to the people in Washington who can have an impact on our business. We help people understand the good we do in our communities and share stories about the families that we have helped through our products and services. But we should not limit ourselves to advocating merely on behalf of independent distribution. We need to be advocates for the people who rely on us for financial security. Any kind of law or regulation that affects our ability to do business is going to affect how Americans provide financial security for their families as well as the long-term fiscal sustainability of our country. Your continued support of our efforts reinforces our relationships with lawmakers on Capitol Hill and our ability to influence legislation. Don't forget that we work with our sister associations on a regular basis toward this goal. As an example, we would like to remind you that NAFA is holding their congressional conference May 20 and 21 at the Marriott Wardman Park in Washington, D.C. I encourage those of you who are NAFA members to participate in this event. These efforts and our support of our sister organization's efforts all contribute to the financial strength of American families, the overarching goal of what we do every day. I strongly encourage each and every one of you to get involved in our government affairs and political action committees and their efforts and help NELBA make a difference. Your voice has a place here. Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. It sounds like you've been preparing to face a lot of issues that need to be addressed in the next few months and few years. So your leadership and the commitment of the members of the Government Affairs Committee is much appreciated.